Hello, third Photoshop tutorial. I've actually tried to record this once before and I screwed up big time. Okay, we're going to be taking this still shot that we took in a previous tutorial and we're going to be removing the green screen and we're also going to be putting it onto a nice background and trying to match it a bit. The background we're going to be putting it on is from Video Copilot's Real Clouds um, collection, which is this image here. So, quite a big difference. We're going to start off by removing the green screen. So, to do that, uh, we're going to use the quick selection tool. So, hit W to get the wand tool and hit hold down shift and press W until you see this brush looking thing here. We're going to just drag until we get what we want. Now, we're going to take away some of this hair, hold down alt to t um, subtract from the selection. That applies for most um, tools, most selection tools. Uh, we're going to press Refine Edge, turn on Smart Radius, a cool, clever new thing in CS5. Shift the edge, we're going to plus shift it. Um, feather it a little bit and boost the contrast. contrast. And then we're going to hit Delete or Backspace. You can see very quickly we've got a nice result. And what we want to do is use the eraser tool, hit E, and just go in and tidy that up a bit. Then what we might want to do, make sure that the hardness is down, and just go in and just clean some of it up. Um, and that's looking a little bit odd, but trust me, we'll fix it in a bit. And we want to get rid of some of this irregularity in the green screen. Um, but just take the raising it, put the hardness up, just getting rid of some of these streaks, and then using the brush tool, get rid of that stupid tool, then press your fine edge. And this edge should end up much better than the other. Feather it a little bit, controls, and shift the edge. Okay, then get rid of that. And as you can see, we've got a nice result on this side as opposed to the other side, which is a little bit wacky. Um, and basically, we're just going to see what it looks like over the background. So put the background down below by just dragging it. And What's stopping it looking real at the moment is the green. Um, for this tutorial, I'm just going to get rid of this bit of the shoulder, and it should look fine. Yep, there we go. Move him a bit more central, and we can fill some of that shoulder in in a bit. Um, in fact, what we'll do, we'll create a selection. And we're going to hit Shift Delete and Content Aware Fill it. And as you can see, very quickly we've filled in that shoulder. And that's really nice in Content Aware, and we can fix that a bit later on. As you can see, we've got a bit of green around the edge, so just use the eraser tool to get rid of that. And the problem at the moment is that there's a lot of green spilling onto his eye, and we can actually color correct that. So we're going to go Image Adjustments. Um, let's take the levels to start with and what I'm going to do is create a nice contrasted looking image um, so crush some of the blacks um, this was taken from the Canon HV20 and that produces very nice images so you don't generally have to do too much um, it just what it, it, it's very good it, um, it's very good with the greys um, even in low light, so it gives you lots of room to crush the blacks should you require it. I'm going to create quite a strong contrasted image and then match it with the sky. Um, before I can do that, I have to rasterize it by right click and press rasterize. I'm going to try and match this contrast. Oh, 
like that. And then we want to try and get rid of this green. Um, make sure we've got the face selected. Image adjustments. Replace color. Select the green. As you can see, very nicely it's, it's found the green all the way around the edge. And we're going to hue it. Let's, let's try and get a different sort of color. Preferably, we want like the purple in the sky or orangey color. Increase the fuzziness. Increase the lightness as well. Let's, um, we'll make the hair look a bit more see through. And actually, that purpley colour in the sky matches it quite nicely. We're going to press OK. And very quickly, we've got rid of most of the green around the edge. Um, the faint moustache, yes, it's annoying, but you know, sue me. Um, there's not really any pimples on the face. I did a tutorial on spot removal. And to do that, you, sorry, use the uh, spot healing brush. Make sure content aware is checked and just dab over the face with that. See, there's a few marks here and there. I don't like that. Oh, that didn't turn out as well as I hoped. Um, I'm actually going to use the eraser tool, make sure the hardness is down. Just raise the rest of it. Like that. And very quickly we've created a nice effect. Um, what we can do is start adding some adjustment layers, just like in After Effects. So we're going to create some curves. And this is going to, because it's over the top, it's going to apply to everything below it. And we can start making it look like it was one image to begin with. Because it's quite a close up, what we might want to do is blur the background, so filter and blur. Um, choose lens blur. Don't know why it's doing this. Scar. Right. Bring down the radius a bit. Press OK. And that's starting to look pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure about this bit under the ear, so we're just going to use the eraser tool again. Oop, roll the layer. And get rid of that under his ear. And I'm going to add a hue and saturation adjustment. To um, bring down the overall saturation. Like that. And then, when you completely finish with the image, um, I'm just going to merge them just for simplicity. 
right click, press merge layers. And we're going to filter and add some noise. Do, 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 do. Ah, noise, there we go. Press OK. Filter, render, lens flare, because they're really hip at the moment, seriously, they're everywhere. And when you're finished with the animation timeline, you can just close tab group. And if you enjoyed it, subscribe. If you want to see more, subscribe for not just Photoshop, but lots of tutorials. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.